Now in this video you're going to learn how to make a compost heated cold frame or clutch and very simple method, simple materials, it's not going to cost you pretty much anything. Um, it's handy if you don't have a polytunnel or a glass house, you can make one of these very simply and I'm going to now show you how to do it. Now the first step is going to be to mark out the soil uh, with either half moon or a spade, that's in order to take off the grass sods because we want to dig down deep and you need to also make sure that you have a kind of a area where the, the frames can rest on. We're going to use some grass mulch and um, these sods actually to lever it up at a certain angle, roughly maybe the height of the shovel. So that means it's roughly about two inches uh, narrower than it would ordinarily be. So bear that in mind. What I find the easiest actually is to mark out the inside. So don't put your plastic on yet. Mark out the inside of the actual frame itself. And that should roughly give you the right area that you want. Now notice I'm already starting to use some of the actual sods to build up the sides. But I'm also going to put a piece of timber all the way along where this frame will rest on because I want it to last a long time. And if it's in contact with the wood, it can actually rot pretty fast. So I'm just putting one layer for now of the sods on top. Then I'm going to put the wood and then I'm going to put down some more soil to hold it all in place. I'll just show you now what I mean with that. Oh, he's a fat fella, isn't he? Look at this guy. Say hello. Ooh. Okay, I better put you somewhere safe, huh? Now, as you can see, I've put some pieces of wood all the way around. I have some blocks here as well. I have some timber running downwards here. And um, we're also using all the soil here, digging it out and sticking it all the way around here, but not higher than this level itself. And maybe I'll leave a few gaps just maybe for some um, air or methane gas to evaporate out uh, later on in the in the stages of growing on my plants. Now the thing that you want to actually add is this uh, kind of compost fresh stuff. Um, it will heat up in time because of course the microbes in there will start gobbling it up, multiplying and creating heat. In turn actually prevent, providing plenty of heat for our little seedlings. Now I'm only putting about maybe 20 centimeters of compost in, maybe 15 centimeters, and then I'm going to put a sheet of uh, something on top to separate the two. Um, you can also of course, I forgot to mention, you can add stones as well, well I think you can. I would imagine you can because if you think about it, if you add big stones in there and during the day you're going to get a lot of heat um, kind of stored in the stones, they're going to release that at night time when the seedlings will need it the most and you're going to have uh, nice cozy seedlings. This is a great method to do at the beginning of January onwards to about March, especially with the compost. The stones I would kind of do generally a little bit later in the season. Um, I don't have big stones so I'm just going to use compost but I'm actually putting in a little bit less. So that's, I'm going to show you in a minute also how to regulate the temperature. It's very, very simple. Um, but first I'm going to add this compost layer and then we'll see how to go on from there. Great <laughs> Now I've just added a piece of corrugated iron and to my surprise it fits perfectly as if the person who actually previously cut it up knew we were kind of doing this so big thanks to you um, the other thing I wanted to say quickly as well that I wanted to mention is if you do happen to get uh, slugs starting to munch away at your little seedlings you'll notice right away if you check them every day or two for watering anyway um, you can actually just turn up the trays themselves and you find them usually under there or you can actually lift this sheet as well and then you can get rid of them in no time but it shouldn't be a problem uh, whatsoever you can also of course make more than just one I'm gonna just stick for one with one for now because now we're in April as mentioned I think I mentioned that already and 
you know, I don't really need more than one because this is just mainly for the pumpkins to start them off. I can sow everything else directly, so in, in this sense, I'm not too late. Um, okay, now we're gonna add the windows and show you what that looks like. Let's see. <laughs> I just line it up nicely. All measured well. The main thing is to get it onto the beam at the back first. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Um, I spoke earlier a little bit about ventilation or rather the very simple way of actually adjusting the temperature control Well, first of all, I have a slot, slot at the front That's gonna let go of a lot of uh, Different kind of gases from the compost, but also of course too much heat because it's gonna get hot now But the nights are still cold and um, also Of course, there's a few little gaps here and there, but you can also of course open a little bit of window I mean isn't this fantastic? I can just use this, no problem whatsoever. A lovely little heated frame. I might need to clean up this, these windows a little bit, get rid of all the dust. But that's pretty much the idea. Now, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please do share this video if you enjoyed it, if you got information out of it. And um, as always, thanks for watching, and perhaps I see you next week.